morning. I seem to have got away with the gamble, the rain. The 10% chance of rain didn't turn out to be zero. And it's a lot chilly, it's chilly, but it's a lovely day. That's because it's no clouds. It's obviously, it's only uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning, so it's quite, quite cool. And talking of good luck, uh, I think that uh, looking, this is my cutting plan here from yesterday. And I think, so five is the, five are the ones I did twice and 11 is the ones missing. And especially because of the way it goes in slightly, uh, and five was just one, two pieces. I'm pretty sure that I can cut, uh, well, that one can go there and this one can be cut down into two and it, and it should all work. And if not, if, 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 because of all the cutting that, you know, you lose a few mil, like I said, just use a piece of scrap here. So I should be okay. Whether I actually do that today, I don't know, because there is a, uh, there's quite a bit more to do. I mean, <coughs> the, unfortunately, you know, this is not the, this is not near the end. So what I've got, what I'll have to do now is first thing all, you know, First thing is is go and have a look and although this is pretty reasonable plywood, there's any chance, but you you see the sort of you know there's big there's gaps here. So before I do anything else, I'm just going along with some filler and uh, and fill in the huge gaps. So after the filler's dried, I need to then sand around the edges because uh, it's a bit rough and it's got as the boards of the the blade was getting a bit bit uh, blunt towards the end, but I just I just couldn't uh, I couldn't be faff to, to change it, so I kept ploughing on. So I need, and I'd have to sand anyway, so I need to sand around the, the boards once the filler's set and got to get the rough edges off. Then when I've done that, all the back sides need to be a, a couple of coats of the, the wood, uh, wood preservative stroke treatment, which makes them a bit water, water repellent. Uh, and the sides as well, of course, because that's where the, in the ply any water can get in. I mean, hopefully there's not going to be any water there, but you, I don't want, to be, don't want to be redoing this floor at any time in the foreseeable future, if ever in my ownership. Uh, and then once I've done that, again, another sealing of the sides, but this with that time with some waterproof PVA and then back into the boat. Well, depending on when, what time it is on that, uh, and then uh, it needs to be a, a coat of, uh, well, it doesn't need to be. I'm going to put a coat of varnish on the top side uh, because although this will have a floor on, uh, finally, if uh, finished, thanks to my friend Chris, as I think I've mentioned, the, uh, you know, that's not going to be for ages yet. So instead of, to stop it getting totally wrecked up while I'm working on it, I'm just going to put a, just that word that word just <laughs> just will take days but uh, i'm going to put a put a uh, coat of varnish on the top i'd rather do that outside if i if i have time uh, but i'm going back tomorrow so but when back home tomorrow and so when i go back home i can't i'm still not trusting the weather forecast a week so i need to have all the boards inside so we'll we'll see how that goes anyway so a lovely day and let's see how far i get So tedious. I, 
I really didn't think it would take that long. Yeah, now I know you're thinking, oh, Stephen, you said that every time you've done something, but honestly, I mean, the the uh, the filling this morning took me a few hours to do, to, to do it all, and I kind of thought it'd be a little longer than that, but I didn't realise that, of course, there's all the moving around of the boards and things as well. I had this ludicrous idea that I'd actually get it finished, so, I mean, unfortunately, that's, that's not finished yet. And even more unfortunately, it looks exactly, this, now it's dry, it looks exactly the same as a... Uh, as it did when I started. I've put the clear clear preserver on and uh, it's dry and now it looks just like the pieces of wood and in exactly the same place. Anyway, so uh, I've still got to put the PVA seal around the edges and I've got to get it and there's other stuff to do as well but then I'll also get it in the boat because I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow so that will be no way I'm doing anything tonight. I'm actually it was back breaking that's all, all that bending over uh, so I'm gonna make some food and uh, have a rest but uh, <laughs> It was probably the hottest day, so also apologies, apologies for exposing you to my uh, scrawny white body, but it was, uh, it was probably the hottest uh, hottest day so far this year, and it was in the sun it was absolutely boiling hot, so I need to take my top off. And now because of that, I'm, you know, I'm covered with, well, yeah, covered with sun cream and, and wood preserver and sweat and dust and, and, and shavings and absolutely filthy. So uh, I need to have a shower before I go to uh, get in that get in my nice sleeping bag. I don't want to ruin that. I've had it for a long time. So, so after that, and God, I wish I had the. Uh, <laughs> I wish I didn't drink that beer yesterday. Now I could really do with a cool beer. I haven't got any because I'm leaving tomorrow. So I'll just have to uh, do so. This will have to do for my shower and my refreshment. God, that actually feels somewhat better. morning. I think last night was the first time I didn't wake up with the dawn, dawn chorus at 4am. I guess I was so tired. Still awake at 6 but that was on. That was because somebody drove past right next to the boat. But anyway I feel uh, a bit, bit achy but not as bad as I uh, expected which is a good job because uh, the task for today is to to get the wood inside which uh, isn't going to be particularly easy, not just the, I mean it's bad enough hand, manhandling it uh, down on the ground and I've been very lucky that uh, the boat went actually because as you saw on the, uh, the last shots that gave me some room to move around and, and do all that stuff but getting it through this little door and down these, uh, down these steps is not going to be fun. However I hope that apart from the one, apart from the last row, the, the, the row 11 which has been causing me so much uh, complications, hopefully that, well hopefully I can't see any reason. The wood will go in now. I've still got stuff to do with it, but it doesn't involve sawing or making dust. So the wood will go in the boat and the, uh, the wood will then stay in the boat largely, more or less, <laughs> until the wood is taken out for refurbishment, whatever. <laughs> That's my hope. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that on camera because uh, I've probably doomed myself now, but that's certainly my intent. So let's see. Catch you later. doing the big boards first and then it occurred to me I have a hatch which is there because traditional our boats had a hatch for cargo purposes so maybe the small ones I can just get through there and avoid the nightmare of the steps. Well, finally it's all and it's, it's home, if not its final resting place. 
So I think the three jobs, that was, uh, it wasn't easy, but it was certainly the easiest of the, of the three. Uh, yeah, but I was looking back, it was probably good that I didn't do the, uh, the second coat of the ceiling around the edges because I probably would have scraped some of it off when I, uh, when I was dragging it into the boat. Uh, I tried my best not to, but of course uh, it did catch. Uh, yeah, so there's, there is probably a few more days of uh, flooring activity to do. Uh, for people who are watching this, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry this is going on so long, it's hardly the most interesting uh, viewing. I was thinking last night, uh, all I've done so far really is move stuff about and uh, and prepare flooring. I mean, the, the video subject might as well be uh, you know, boarding out my loft from all I've done so far. But things will get more canal boaty soon, I, uh, I uh, hope so. I hope for my own sanity anyway. Right, well I'm off then. Just found that some, uh, some git pranged the back of my car with a car door and I've been parked here, which is a bit annoying. I mean, it's not a new car in any way, but it's new to me and the bodywork was fine. So I'll have to get, it's rusting already, so I'll have to get something to do. Anyway, I'm off for a long weekend, so don't expect any videos for a while, but I will put one up next time. I'm afraid, like I said before, it's going to be probably more, more flooring unless something drastically uh, different happens. In the meantime, hope you're doing well, and catch you later.